All right, here we are, our next playthrough. Um, as usual, been looking forward to this. Uh, somebody told me this can get really hard, so I like punishing myself apparently with hard games. So let's go for it. Um, and as usual, I'm going in blind. I'm actually going in more blind in this playthrough than I've ever done. I really don't know anything. I haven't even watched that much uh, content from this game, so... This is gonna be an interesting one. I am a big Star Wars fan. Um, not gonna spend too much time discussing the current state of Star Wars, of course. But nevertheless, a big Star Wars fan I am. And yeah, let's just get into it. I have done a little bit of just settings testing. The game seems to run really well, to be honest. I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah, so let's just do it. Give me one moment to just synchronize my audio. I don't feel like cutting the recording because I believe uh, the transition between menu and gameplay is really smooth in this game. So I'm just going to do one continuous recording here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. I actually do that with every recording, but I cut it out. But for this time, you get to hear it. Okay, no delays. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Difficulty. Now, before I start, I just want to say something really quick. Uh, a while back, I actually bought Neo, the first game. And I tried to do a uh, playthrough of it. I still have it on... Uh, I still have the game, but... Uh, like 15 episodes in, I realized... I don't like it. I, I wasn't enjoying it. So I just stopped. I deleted what the videos I put out. It was just... Tedious and lame and aggravating. <laughs> so you would think that I would just play on one of the lower difficulties to enjoy the story, but the moron that I am, the moron inside me is like, Jedi Grandmaster, do it. Do it or chicken. And I don't want to be a chicken, <laughs> so... And just so you know, I don't play these type of high punishing souls games, like yeah, that kind of genre. L like. Give me a puzzle game, give me an adventure game, give me action, FPS games. I'll play it on the hardest difficulty, no problem. But <laughs> these type of Souls games, these high punishing games, I don't actually play or spend that much time with. So this is stupid. It's actually stupid of me to play it on this level. But you know what? I'm stupid, so let's go. Grandmaster. Oh, there we go. Let's freaking do it. If I die, at least you will be entertained. Such a rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It'll be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. Polar clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The Cal will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. 
Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get to work. This way. I'm right behind you. All right. Um, I bet I noticed the uh, the music. It was actually, uh, I think it was him who was listening to it. It sounded like uh, it was him. Anyways, let me just really quick, really quickly check my settings to see if um they transferred. Cause I had to delete my save files to delete the short test run that I did for settings. Uh, let's see, sprint that looks proper. Custom that looks proper. Okay. Just want to showcase this because I was was looking at the FPS counter while looking here. It's a really beautiful, beautiful looking game. Honestly, it's not like the most amazing visual, but it really has like a dreary feel to it. I like it. I really, I, really, I like the visual. So, famous last words before, or not famous last words, but it's the last thing we're gonna get to enjoy. Before death comes to us, let's just explore a little bit. Nothing. Imagine having to work in a place like this. The worst part is stuff like this exists in the real world too. With shipyards and stuff. Oh, thank you. Look at that. A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. Alright, let's go. Pretty cool. Uh, where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> hey, you okay? I yeah, probably shouldn't laugh. I'm good. Ladders out, though. Gonna have to find another way. Yeah, okay, no problem. I'll improvise. This is as far as I've played. So from here on out, the action. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> like a baby <laughs> trying to crawl. Anyways, this is as far as I've played. So from here on out, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Whee! Depart this barge immediately. You are not approved trash. I mean, trash? Just not approved trash. Wow. What's up with the tone? Why am I trash? Sprint? Oh, I can sprint. Okay. Gotta say though, the sound effects and the music, as always, in any Star Wars product, is uh, high tier. Whether it's a movie or a game or is this climbable? Okay. Hurry up. We're close to finishing ahead of schedule. 
I can just about taste the credits. Gonna be a wild night tonight. Let's get this job done. Where do we go? Hello? What? That's not the way. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Reckless cow. Good to see you. You too. Don't get yourself killed. That's the idea. I can't promise anything. So, is it even possible to fall? Or do I just hold forward? Just hold forward, no balancing mechanic. Let's see. Stormtrooper helmets. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. Fun fact, I've only seen a rat one time in my entire life. A hedgehog, on the other hand, I've seen plenty of times. Wait, what? Oh, I have to go to the other side. Hey, Cal. I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. Dude, this guy's fit as hell. Like, Ninja Warrior Deluxe going on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, maybe not complete Ninja Warrior material. Well, to be fair, that may have been my fault, not the character's fault. Can I just drop? How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Huh? <laughs> okay, we haven't met any enemies whatsoever, and I actually managed to lose life. This is going great. It's kind of weird that you actually have to press uh, E to uh, grab on. I'm sure that's gonna be uh, the source of many deaths. Look, the ship cutter is here. There it goes. Hey, we should get moving. Yep, good looking out. Where's the ship cutter? Is it those things? I forgot to check something. Um, like HUD controls and stuff like that. I was only checking controls for movement, navigation. Swim boost, okay. Map, okay, here we go. Map is M. So it means I'm out. Swap current location. Map level up? Can I press map now? No, can't. Right. We move on. So far, I really like the atmosphere of the game. What is that? We gotta 
finish before they start cutting this wing. Actionay, actionay! I'm working as fast as I can. I think they glitched through each other. That is a pretty picture. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty epic. These are, uh... This is, uh, military vehicles from the Clone Wars, I believe. I don't think they use these much after... ...the events of the Clone Wars. The Empire moved on to other equipment, I believe. Like those. Yeah. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that is the case. Cal, use the manual override lever below. Below? What now? Uh... Is that a jump thing? Okay. Ah. Oh. Got it. Your turn. Oh. Hold on. All right. Clamp secured. You okay? Still here. Uh, give me a fright there, pal. This guy's upper body strength is off the charts. Done. He's just throwing Hang himself I got this. Uh, as if he's like a plastic bag or something. Get out up here. Just no... No weight, no momentum, nothing. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score! It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this thing's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Never flew this, but down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah. Here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Well, listen to me. Find us free like this? It'll be your ticket off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <sighs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What is that? Help me! Help me! Oh, we're playing. What the? It really doesn't matter what we do, I guess. Bro, you okay? No! I, I can't climb up! Bro, well, it doesn't have the upper body strength Cal has. <laughs> no, don't let go! I, I can't hold on! Bro! No! Uh... Oh. Okay. It looked like a T at first. You okay, bro? I I'm alright. Just pin down. Pilot's gone. I'll get us out of here. Just hang on. Watch out, Cal. Look out. This thing is barely 
Please no, trust me. I've seen them. I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. There's bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna sell us out. Calling it. Man, that quick time event got me by surprise. Wasn't expecting it at all. Wonder should I let those le like should I let those be in the game or not? Up, okay. Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel. I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. So, I know the risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place, it's not safe. Maybe you should, you know, disappear. I'm just gonna head back to my place, grab my bag. Tapper's owes me a favor. Oh. I heard he was up on uh, Nashadella. Yeah. He won't be seeing me for a while, bro. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, um, so what I was talking about is that there is an option to turn off quick time events, I believe. Right here. Uh, I left it on, but honestly, for me personally, quick time events are a little bit destructive. Because when there are cutscenes, I just like to like take my hands off the mouse and keyboard and just, you know, lean back and watch. Uh, I do like a good cutscene. So if I find out that these, uh, <laughs> the potential of uh, quick time events kind of stress me out and doesn't allow me to really enjoy the cutscenes properly and just soak in the details, I'm just gonna turn it off. Um. But we'll see, it, because it, there might be quick time events that are integral to fights or certain things, I don't know. So we'll see how it goes before I make the decision. Prof, wait up! Damn, what an amazing visual. Damn, the atmosphere in this game is absolutely amazing. At least so far.
This reminds me of a scene from Rogue One. Okay, that reminds me more of the scene from the second Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi, I think. I kind of mixed up their names. Second of the new one. Whoa! Apprentice, mark well and listen. Master. Trust only in the Force. Train has stopped. Yeah, something's going on. Everybody up. Identification ready. Out and line up. Probably just another contraband inspection. Somebody sensed something in the force. Not just our main character. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you are. Uh, uh, no! Uh, uh, Look at this, a lightsaber. I found the Jedi! Checking out the disturbance. Oh, that hurts. So I was wrong. He didn't push us. How'd you get here? Or actually, we don't know if he would or not. Got a stowaway. You don't need to call this in. Quiet. This is TK-8190. We'll get you for that! Ah! Other target. Impact. Why can't I target? Okay, so. Lots of things happened there. First let me... Why can I not target? Target button is gone? Oh, maybe it's uh, locked behind the tutorial. Okay, so it didn't sell us out. At least we didn't get a chance to see if it would sell us out or not. And it's kind of funny that the bad guys 
just instead of killing <laughs> killing Cal here, they just drop him instead. The typical villain mistake. Okay, so you just hold to uh, I got this. your block sound decrease when attacking block. Shot through that? Okay, the timing, the block timing isn't awful. I usually get the first one, but the second it's the kind of, I mean the parry time. So far, the controls feels pretty good. One way out. Wow. Speed. Gotta keep moving. I chose to rest instead. That's how I prepare. That's how oh, prepare not like that. that. Rest when you're dead, stormtrooper. Alt? No, 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 no. I don't want that to be my targeting. There we go. That's better. Oh, I, I, I just noticed that you switch targets by moving the mouse. I don't like it. Is there any way to swap targets? In a different way with a button. Crap. And it was the same way in Neo, and it worked really poorly, actually. Get him. Death number one out of many. It's gonna take me some time to, you know, get the uh, parry timings down. Eyes over there. Oh, too soon. Too soon. Get up here. Put me. Oh, too soon. Ugh. Well. <laughs> kind of predicted it, not, uh, not gonna lie. I was doing so well, too. Jedi, form up! Don't be next. Yeah, why did you do that? Now you die. You're too quick. Stagger like weaker enemies, alright. Slow. Force meter depletes when you okay. Fair enough. Just force objects with blue outline. Okay. Oh right, on the environments. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like, ah, oh, mistakes. <laughs> right as he get parried, like, as he's getting parried and about to die, it's like, ah, oh, I made a terrible mistake. That's kind of funny. Uh, I'm waiting for the tunnel to end because I want to see the surroundings, by the way. I just want to see the... The environment. Put some effort into it. So. Jump attack? Yeah. No? this okay no <laughs> oh the enemy is gone Okay, we're fighting multiple enemies. Let's go. That's probably not good. <laughs> ah, fuck, sure forgot. I forgot. Space bars jump. Well, this is gonna be tough. Four enemies with this life pool. Well, it doesn't look like they attack while you're in like an execution animation, so. Trying to block the one that was attacking there. Wait, what happened? The other one snuck and attacks you. Yeah, I should wait with the slow until I see whoever is in front. And then just chop that guy down. Okay, I'm stuck. He's really injured. You can't beat us all. <laughs> hey, this is gonna really? be tough. But I wonder why the game. Oh, I, I know why I got a chance to fight those two. It's because I fell down. I didn't die. Okay. Interesting. I thought maybe they gave, gave me a second chance at fighting and then it was like, nope, you go back. Do I have another force ability? 
Is it only force push? I mean force slow. Alright, go. With this one. Oh. Jesus. It wasn't so tough. Well, we're gonna be here for a while. I don't like that the checkpoint is in before the climbing thing. I wish it was after. It would make things a little bit uh, less time consuming. Oh, we try again. Okay, I I can't jump. Oh, there it is. Okay, the, that dodge mechanic doesn't work. I mean, dodge button doesn't work. It's a little bit awkward for me. I need to change it. I don't need sprint to be so conveniently placed. Still figuring things out, let's see. Sprint can be here. And... Wait, can be here. Let's try this. It's a good practice, though, to be able to... Uh... It's a good practice, <laughs> to be able to deal with them. Are there any special attack patterns? Like... It's just a regular attack. Okay. Get to the front. Stop the train. Is stopping the train very smart? Is it better to let it get? Oh, no. Well, maybe not. Need cover. What? Gotta move in between bursts. Now! Sprints, but you know, boost Only myself. Up. Up. Very amazing cinematics, like half cinematic, half uh, interactive oh. gameplay going on here. I like it. Help. 
Who are you? No time. Keep moving. We'll pick well, you hello up. there. No time. Come closer, second jump. <laughs> I just had to make that joke. <laughs> I wonder, are we gonna have a boss battle? Like a lightsaber boss battle? That would be kind of typical. I was trying to get the one in the back there. I was waiting for it to shoot and he shot, but the... Uh, I don't know what happened to that uh, shot. <laughs> I accidentally killed that guy. What? Oh, they can miss? Oh, that makes sense. He runs kind of funny, though. Come on now. The train stopped? Star Wars music doing its thing as usual. Ooh, look at that view. That graphic. Jesus. This is all like wallpaper level shots right here. Oh, this can't be good. He didn't break his back or anything. <laughs> Dude, what's this guy made of? Like his spine should be in like 15 pieces now.
Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. He said it. I was thinking it. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Sir Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? What's the bounty on Jedi these days, anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too? Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? They're gone. Oh. So I'm all you've got. Captain, set a course for Bagano. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. You were talking in your sleep. What a weirdo. <laughs> right, so a couple of things happened there. Um, still not sure whether I like those um, button mashing and quick time events. We'll see. Um, Number one. Number two. I'm not entirely sure in terms of like the Star Wars timeline when this game is, but I I think I heard somebody say it was like I think you heard it they talk about it was like five years after the Clone Wars. So most of the Jedi should be dead, as they've been pointing out, but there should still be some alive. I don't remember exactly like how long after the Clone Wars Darth Vader and uh, in later times, these Inquisitors actually finished hunting down most of the Jedi. Like, how long it took them. Somebody has to comment this, somebody that knows the lore better than me. But I know they did go on, uh, on this hunting spree after the Clone Wars. And after the fall of the Republic. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, he was running around with uh, the lightsaber in the ship. The only thing I was could think of was, like, he shouldn't run around with scissors, I guess still applies in uh, in science fiction fantasy settings also is that lady uh i didn't catch her name uh i forgot her name or the the both uh, the captain and the lady are they both jedi as well or maybe force sensitive not not sure they didn't actually confirm it they just said they want to rebuild the order but they actually didn't confirm that they are force sensitive or force users um what else? Also, there was something else I was thinking of. Like, you'd think that people in this world know, would know better than to shoot at people with lightsabers. Because, <laughs> like, the lady almost died to deflecting uh, <laughs> deflected shots from the Inquisitor. <laughs> it was kind of funny. You'd think that, you know, you'd think that they would know better. Um, then again, maybe the shots slowed her down enough so she couldn't jump into the ship, who knows. Anyways, so far, I actually am really enjoying this game. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, 
initially when this game came out i didn't you know i wasn't too hyped so kind of just let it sit there for a while before i considered buying it or not but uh, you know um now that i got it and i'm playing it it actually uh i'm really enjoying it the story so far the setting the atmosphere and even the combat it's fairly smooth it seems like a port from a uh, it seems like it was made with controller in mind. That's even advertised, I think, in the beginning of the game. Uh, in the menu. But it still feels smooth, actually. The camera switching between targets is actually functioning. I was very afraid when I saw that you switch targets by moving your mouse lef uh, left and right. And because I've played other games where you do that, and it, it was horrible, like, game-breaking in the middle of mo fights with multiple enemies. But here... It works so far, it works really well. So, really hyped about playing out the rest of this game. Very pleasantly surprised by it. Uh, but that's it for this episode, and I will immediately record another one. So, I'll see you soon.